we are here to broadcast the news about the palace, okay? The Benin Traditional Council responded to the incident that happened in front of the palace last week, okay? There is a press report from the Benin Traditional Council that I'm going to read to the public, okay? This is an official report from the Benin Traditional, yeah, Benin Traditional Council. So I'm going to read, all right? Okay, the, the letter was dated today, 29th July, 2020, okay? Palace Press Release. The Benin Traditional Council observed with dismay the unruling uh, behavior of some youths outside the gate of the palace on Saturday, 25th July, 2020, when His Excellency Governor Godwin Obaseki and some other PDP governors visited His Royal Majesty the Oba of Benin. The Benin Traditional Council wished to state that His Royal Majesty, the Oba of Benin, warmly welcomed the August visitors, okay, led by His Excellency Godwin Obaseki. We were therefore surprised to hear later that there was an incident outside the palace. His Royal Majesty condemns this uh, unruly behavior that uh, that occurred in front of the palace. We wish to reiterate and emphasize once more that the Bini throne is not partisan. The Bini traditional council uses his medium to advise all political party members not to turn a do state into a war zone because of a gubernatorial ambition. His Royal Majesty is committed so peace and tranquility in the state and peaceful upcoming gubernatorial election. The palace enjoined all well-meaning indigents of Edo State to join His Royal Majesty in continuous prayers for peace and tranquility in Edo State and peaceful upcoming gubernatorial election. Okay. Long live Edo State, long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Oba Latok Bay, he said, signed by Frank Irabo, Secretary, Benin Traditional Council. Done. Okay. Sir? Yes. Okay, sir. First of all, mm. I, I must let you know that, that uh, the letter you have is an authentic letter. Okay. The genuine letter from the palace. Because I have that same letter, mm. I had it this morning. I had a copy of it this morning. Okay. And Frank Irabo is the secretary mm. to the traditional council. Mm. He handles the Yoba's affairs and uh, yes. he's like uh, the spokesman for the Yoba, the, the, the secretary yes. to the traditional council. Yes, I know him. Now, having said that, having said that mm. the letter is very clear and it supports what we have been saying. Uh, it took this long for this letter to be to be written or this response to be given yeah. because the palace, the other as a person does not interfere into the political matters of yes. his children yes. because it's the father of all of those whether you are ABC, whether you are PDP, ACN, whatever we are all the other children so when the children are having a disagreement, it behoves on the father to take time to yes. find out what has happened before giving an, a statement in order not to look like if he's supporting one group against the other. Yes, I, I'm going to I'm going to quote that. I'm going to quote that session again in the fourth paragraph, saying that uh, the Benin throne is not partisan. Okay, it's not partisan, which means yes. the Benin throne is neutral. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's above politics. Yes. So, having said that, anyway, mm. the letter acknowledges and says that it it was dismayed by the behavior of the youths outside the gate. And the palace condemned that behavior. It condemned that behavior. Yes. And if you see 
what has been going on in the internet with different people coming to the, the, to the line mm. that they were ever they ever took part in such things. The people we felt uh, instigated the whole thing, like mm. uh, Tony Kabaka, you know, coming out to make a press conference to deny and so on. It means a lot of it is gone, if I know Bini very well. Yeah. And equally, if you notice in that letter, it was made very clear. He said that no one has the right to turn a do state into a war zone mm. because of their political, gubernatorial ambition. Mission, yes. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You understand yeah. that phrase very well. Yeah. You say I'm that, gonna I'm gonna read that I'm, I'm gonna read that uh, uh that session. The Benin Traditional read, Council. Read okay. The Benin the Benin Traditional Council uses this medium to advise all political party members not to turn Edo State into a war zone because of gubernatorial ambition. Okay. So they don't have to turn a state into a war zone because of their political aspiration in the state. Yes. Now, let me tell you, it's not only political aspiration. That is a letter mm. that is written and coded in diplomatic language. It is written and coded in diplomatic language. Mm. And to break it down for you, what is saying that you cannot turn a do state into a war zone because of your gubernatorial ambition? Obasaki is already the governor. So he cannot be referred to as having a gubernatorial ambition. This is no longer an ambition, this is a reality. He wants to continue for a second term. It's a reality on ground. So it's already been a successful governorship already. It's already the governor. So in diplomatic language, only one man has a political ambition to rule a new state. You see, political ambition future tense, a future sense, tense, the person is aspiring to be the gubernatorial, to win the gubernatorial elections or to be a gubernatorial candidate mm. to become governor. Obasaki is already a governor. So for my explanation, you will know what that clause is referring to. Mm, yeah. Without yeah. mentioning it, yeah. you will know what that clause is. Referring to that's why I'm telling you that there's a lot of logic in that letter. Those who really reason who reason it out and they will know what the letter yeah. is saying exactly. Okay. And right in this election, we know the people that have been posting that they will pull heaven and earth to make sure that the Vasaki doesn't have a second term. And we know the people that just, just, just before even the governor came to visit the other. We know the people that we are talking about lions and tigers so and making places on on the uh, on the uh, on habitable. So and we know the people that have been born, that have been born in the other market, born in all the markets in Benin. You understand, sir. And the, the last the last paragraph here is very important as well. Like they said, I'm gonna quote, I'm gonna quote. Uh, the palace enjoined all where many indigents of a state to join his royal majesty in continuous prayers for peace and tranquility in a state and peaceful upcoming gubernatorial election. Very, very important that we pray. For yes, peace. That is very important. And to tell you how important it is, a lot of people don't do it. There are so many people of Bini extraction praying and fasting on signing this election. The parents fast the Oba himself 
as royal as he is, he fasts on behalf of all Edos and all beneath. <coughs> and say prayers of blessings and goodwill on every beneath person mm. worldwide. Yeah. From the palace. Mm. Every time. And there was even a time, if you remember, some few months ago, mm. a message came from the palace that everybody should fast and pray. Three days were declared for that, for there to be peace mm. and uh, unity and uh, tranquility mm. in uh, those states. Yes. So I from time to time, it depends on what the elders see. And don't forget, the upper power of Bini is a deity. We as Edos believe that our upper is a reincarnation, a so, God sent son of God so, sent to us. With, uh, a God a king. A God king. Yes. That's why I said it's a deity. Mm. And that is why there is no election to be an upper. An upper is born an upper. An upper is born an upper. That is why our own kingship is very unique. Yes. It's like the kingship of England. And I think England copied it from us because we were long there before the time of the Okisos and all that before England started saying they are is the first uh, son that can be king. Yes. You know, the primogenition no system. Yes. Yes. So, 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 what I'm saying in effect is that paragraph is very unique. Uh, even your program, I mentioned it that uh, some time ago, that every Friday, myself and a group of Edolites spread across the world that we fast every Friday for the re-election of Obaseki and for tranquility in a do state and for Obaseki to win in a landslide. We do that every Friday, next tomorrow now. We fast from 6 in the morning to 6 in the evening. Anywhere you are, whether it is Nigeria, you take Nigeria time 6 in the morning to 6 in the evening. And if you are in, uh, like I'm in Tanzania now, you know, I break my own fast mm. 8 o'clock in mm. the evening because we are two hours ahead of Nigeria. Mm. But everything synchronizes with Nigeria at 6 o'clock. We do that. So the upper is calling on every end of life. If you cannot fast, Please pray. And I said it also in your program like that on June 9th. If you cannot fast, pray for tranquility. Yes. For there to be no bloodshed in a those state. Yes. So that innocent people will not lose their lives. When you have your mother in the market, you be very careful how you throw stones into the market. It's not like meet your mother. So exactly. we are praying seriously that uh, people should not throw stone into the market where our mothers are. So that's how I will explain that paragraph. So I'm going to play the video of uh, the governor, governor Oba Seki and other PDP governors that visited the Oba last week. I'm going to play the official video from that visit. Very beautiful video that I'm going to for the audience um then before we leave sir if you have any comment because i'm gonna play this video i don't think we'll come back again to do analysis of the video so i, I will use the video yes. to end this show no no they will not. all i just want to tell everybody is for all supporters of obasaki please mm. be calm no more shaking everything is under control and i say what i've always say, said mm. Come November 2020, mm. Obaseki will be sworn in as the governor of Edo State for another four years to complete the complete transformation of Edo State. And finally, mm. the visit of the governor was very successful. The visit of the PDP to the palace 
was very successful and the letter acknowledged that. Now in diplomacy, it is there when the, the, the governors from other states cannot go to the open stadium for a rally in the upper domain mm. without paying a courtesy call on him. And that is what happened. That is protocol. And it's one of the violations that Oshomole was doing as APC national chairman, as a former governor of Edo State, mm. and as a former and as an APC chairman at that time, he was supposed to follow protocol. Anytime he's coming to Edo State, for such an important position, the man who was such an important position, mm. he was supposed to inform the governor oh, no, yes. that he's coming to Edo State mm. at so so at so time, mm. so that they, pro they provide security for him. Because if anything was to happen to him, the governor as the chief security officer will be made to explain, you see, what happened. So with these governors coming to Edo State, they, first of all, they visited the governor. It is incumbent on the governor to take them to go and see the upper because Edo State is the domain of the upper, politics aside. Politicians come, governors come and go, but the other, there is no leave yes. and there is no transfer. There is no transfer. That's what we say for the other. Yes. The other is always there. Yes. So may God bless you, may God bless all subscribers of Nebo TV, and may God bless all supporters of Obatekini, uh, and may God bless Edo State, and God bless Nigeria. Thank mm. you very much. Obaga, talk to you. Yes, sir. So uh, that's all, sir. I will talk to you later. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna play this video for Thank the audience. You. Yeah. Bless you. Yes, sir. All right. Hello, guys. So we just reported the press report from the Bini Traditional Council. Okay, with regards to the incident that happened in front of Oba Palace last week when Governor Oba Seki and some other PDP governors visited the Oba. All right. The Oba of Benin, Omo Noba Apolokolo Ewari II, has commended the River State Governor Ahir Somezo Wiki for his purposeful style of leadership in handling national and state issues. Oba Ewari II made the commendation today when Governor Wiki, who is also the chairman, PDP National Campaign Council for the Edo 2020 state governorship election. The PDP candidate and governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseke, governor of Sokoto State, Amini Waziri Tambawal, and his Delta State counterpart, Senator Ifanyo Kowa, PDP National Chairman, Prince Uchese Kondus, and other members of the PDP National Campaign Council paid him a cosy call at his palace in Benin, Edo State. The Edo monarch noted that he has keenly watched the activities of the governor on national television over the years with admiration. He particularly commended Governor Wike for rescuing the former managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission and the DC Dr. Joy Nunye from the hands of armed policemen. So every time, um, as I said that on that visit, that I used to follow your uh, I, used to, I used to follow you from time to time on, when you make utterances uh, in rivers and uh, and uh, some of the recent ones, especially how you rescued that lady, <laughs> was was uh, was very interesting to us here. So I uh, thank you, Your Excellency. He recalled his visit to River State aimed at strengthening ties between the people of the two states and also lauded him for the hospitality accorded to him and his entourage. Uh, and of course, our good friend and uh, the, Benin, the of, of Benin origin, of great Benin origin, yes, of Wike, Governor, yes, of Wike. I thank you very much, Your Excellency, for coming with the, the group and uh, also congratulate you for being the chairman of the campaign council. I also want to specially thank you for the hospitality that we enjoyed when I visited um, 
uh, rivers. Uh, your, your accommodation was superb, your reception was superb, your courtesy was very warm. You made it clear that you are actually from Benin soil here to everybody. I want to thank you. We, we have been uh, remembering that uh, visit and we'll keep on remembering the, the visit. So when I met with the governors of uh, Cross Rivers and Rivers, they appealed to me to intervene. They appealed to me to intervene. Um, in the crisis that was uh, prevailing at the time. And now, I prayed. I told, uh, I told my, good, my good friend in Rivers and in Cross Rivers that I'll be trying my best. And I will keep on trying my best that uh, we will not give up, but we have left the matter in the hands of God and our ancestors to intervene. He restates the apolitical position of the Penin traditional stool and assured of his prayers for peaceful campaigns as well as the stability of the state and nation. I was already signaled to His Excellency that I'm, most, I'm going to summon, convene a meeting of our traditional uh, members of the council of traditional rulers and chiefs so that we look at the whole thing again and again and again perhaps fast and pray we have to keep on praying because that is really what we savage the not only the not only the state but the entire country Earlier, Governor Yesomezo Wiki said the visit was to seek the Obas royal blessing for the commencement of the party's campaign in his kingdom. Your Royal Majesty, your son, His Excellency, the Governor of the State, has said why we are here. The national servant has added to what you have said. Mine is to say thank you for approving that we should come for this course, come. Governor Wike, who noted the revived tradition of the ancient Benin Kingdom, assured the monarch of his continued respect for the traditional institution. He promised to return to the place on the thank you visit after the victory of the party at the September 19, 2020 governorship election. Of great. And I want to say it for record purposes. This one Asian kingdom I have personal respect for. I have been here before, and when I came here, I was also impressed, and I told my governor, yes, this is what they call an Asian kingdom. And I want you to continue to pray for us, to pray for this country, and we'll continue also to pray for you, so you continue to be this kingdom and the new state. I'd also say that in anticipation that when we win September 19, the first point of call we will make is to also come to this place in your palace and thank you. We to your palace by this distinguished Nigerians, friends, colleagues, who have gladly joined me today as I declare my intention to run again and unveil my manifesto to the great people of the state in the upcoming gubernatorial elections taking place on September 19th this year. As you know, we are people of custom and tradition. Inappropriate for distinguished Nigerians to step foot of empire without coming to pay obeisance and courtesies to you. And that father, to request sir, for your prayers and blessings as we go about our electionary activities 
Something came to my mind as I was watching this video. I said, oh, let me just play this uh, video of the actual incident, the hoodlums who gathered in front of the Oba Palace last week. I'm going to play the video, okay? It's better for me to play the video as well. I'm going to play the video right now. Mario! 